Today's episode is a reaction to a video posted by Kara and Danielle titled, Did the Black Boomer Generation Fail Us? Before one of you snowflakes get upset and try to say, oh, here we go, another black man attacking black women, I won't be attacking these ladies at all. In fact, I kind of likes me some Kara, okay? I'm sapiosexual, which means I love women that are very smart. Therefore, she is the type of woman that I'd marry. Anyway, just like I do with men, I will only be delivering commentary and criticism related to their video, not attacking them personally, right? Now, if you sisters want to have equality with men, you have to be able to take tough criticism on the chin, drop your ego, and be held accountable for what you say, just like men have to do every day. Kara and Danielle are conservative women who detest liberalism, and they basically asserted that following Democratic Party ideology caused black boomer parents to fail their children. Are they right? Or has adhering to conservative ideology blinded them to the truth? Let's talk about it. The baby boomer generation is defined as people born from 1946 to 1964. Gen X was born between 65 and 80, Generation Y was born between 81 and 96, and Generation Z was born between 1997 and 2012, and Generation Alpha was born between 2013 and 26, uh, 2025. Kara and Danielle have some information missing from their knowledge of black history because the boomer generation is the parents of Generation X or the X generation. Now, I apologize to these ladies if I'm wrong, but they appear to be in their early 40s, that means that they are more likely Gen X. The reason that Generation X was labeled as X is because they never did anything uh, culturally or politically to move the nation to be true to its creed like every other generation prior to them. Therefore, they are brand X because they are culturally and politically unidentifiable or insignificant. Now, what I'm about to say does not apply to everybody, okay? See, you have to say not all on social media when you're talking in general terms so that the intellectually indigent won't get upset. Now, the unique personality characterized um, by Gen X is they refuse to listen to their boomer parents or anyone older than them. Gen X people only listen to each other. Consequently, they are neither mother wit nor father wise as a result of dumb leading dumber and dumb leading dumb to dumb dumb. Thus, Gen X is the first group of people, of, of, uh, of uh, children born in America that did not do better financially than their parents. Gen X gave birth to Gen Y, the crack babies of the 80s, and the gangster rappers of the 90s, along with some Gen Z. Gen Z are the Pookies and Shaniquas who mutilate themselves with tattoos, face piercings, and twerk in restaurants, revealing that they have no home training or they don't follow the black boomer, meaning big mama and big papa type of parental guidance. Now, there was a lot happening in American culture uh, between late boomers and mid Gen X. There was the civil rights movement, the hippie movement, and the black power movement. Now, those movements began in the mid 50s. And if you look at the, do the uh, documentaries on the civil rights movement, such as Eyes on the Prize, you will see people being loaded onto paddy wagons and, and being hit by firemen's hoses, uh, water hoses that are all young. Dr. King was only 26 when he led the Montgomery bus boycott. The hippie movement that protested the Vietnam War were all young people. The Black Power Movement was led by young people in the Black Panther Party like Huey Newton and Fred Hampton. And all of those movements and their leaders were killed off by the mid 70s by government intervention through programs such as COINTELPRO. Now you can learn more about it by using uh, Google and go into the COINTELPRO Wikipedia page. The following is presented under Title 17 U.S. Code 107 that allows fair use of a copyrighted work for the purposes of criticism, teaching, and parody. Any attempt to infringe upon the right of fair use will result in an immediate legal response. The civil rights, hippie, and black power movements were characterized as counterculture, so the government launched counterintelligence operations to end their activities. Now, I'm not spewing some kind of uh, cons uh, conspiracy theory, all right? There are court documents confirming this, and people actually went to jail for murder, conspiracy, and other federal crimes. Those countercultures were fueled by the music of their time, 
Therefore, the government infiltrated music companies to make sure that revolutionary music would never again fuel another countercultural movement. And that is why groups like Public Enemy, and NWA, were attacked relentlessly, and why men such as Gil Scott Heron and rappers like KRS One were silenced and are now rarely heard from. As I said earlier, Generation X is the first generation that did not do as well or better than their boomer parents financially. Boomer parents were able to own homes and cars and send several kids to college. They were able to put food on the table every day. But the COVID pandemic showed us that Gen X parents live on the brink of food and financial security daily. So many of them are, are just like one or two paychecks away from being homeless. And that's because Gen X parents are saddled with debt. See, debt for the average person in America that owns a home and has student loans is around $92,000. But the average debt for Gen X parents in the same situation is nearly $142,000, okay? Now, rather than putting money away for their children's education, Gen X parents like to blame to give the false impression that they are doing well financially while they struggle privately. As a consequence of their fake it till you make it mentality, they wear and drive their children's education down the street. Gen X people will put off paying their rent to buy tickets and a new outfit to go to a concert. Gen X parents, like the woman in this video, will walk around with their hair and nails did and spend money to get tattoos, but they have the audacity to go to the food pantry because they don't have enough money to keep their children from suffering from food insecurity. Oftentimes, their kids won't even get a meal on the days that they're not in school. Now, Gen X, for the most part, and the Gen Ys and Gen Zs they gave birth to are not as blessed as their parents and grandparents because they don't adhere to black boomers' religion, okay? They hate religion and they claim to be spiritual, but they don't want to receive any type of spiritual training. See, they think that they can use affirmations and positive confessions to manifest into existence whatever they are praying for from the spiritual side of the universe, See, they think that they can simply decree and declare whatever they want to happen in their lives on the spiritual side. So I always ask them, okay, now that you are done decreeing and declaring, what are you going to do? See, I take that opportunity to teach them that there is a difference between the words pray, praying, and prayer. Now, some people like to pray and some people love praying, but those, those people rather receive results. However, the word prayer is a verb that describes a person who, after they pray or finish praying, they get up off their knees and do something. See, two-thirds of God's name spelled forward is go, and two-thirds of God's name spelled backward is do. Therefore, God always expects you to go and do. And see, the word worship is a compound word comprised of the word word and ship. And rather than standing around just praising God's name, he expects you to take the word and go somewhere with it. And that's why God told Abraham in Genesis 12, 1, get out of your father's house and go to a land that I will show you. When? As you go, okay? Now, you don't receive answers to your prayers when you are not doing something to get them, all right? Black boomers raised their children, ladies and gentlemen, in traditional families. Black boomer men and women had their problems, but they stayed together. The men were real men and the women were real women and they operated in relative harmony in their traditional gender roles. But today there are too many Gen X women who believe that they can act like men without consequence. You see, they don't spend enough time with their children like men. They go out every weekend to drink and drug and share their body with every Harry, Jerry, and Larry. And consequently, they are going to hell in a handbasket just like the men are. But the problem is that children are going too. 73% of the babies that Gen X women give birth to are born out of wedlock. And they go around having casual sex with men who, who only wanted to have sex. But then once they get pregnant, they want the man to accept the responsibility as a father when he only wanted to have a sexual encounter. Now, when the man walks away, Gen X women use the child as a weapon against the father. Thus, Gen Y and Gen Z children have to grow up with a bitter mother and no father. Statistically, Gen X women are difficult for a man to live with also, okay? Black Gen X women have the highest rates of divorce and they have the highest rates of cohabitation breakup. If a couple gets divorced, 80% of the time, the divorce is filed by the woman. And even when they just live with a man, they can't even stay with a man because they want to be the man. 
And see, most real men don't want to live with a woman who is trying to be the man, okay? It's just like being married to another dude. Two dudes make do do, so there'll always be some shit. Too many Gen X women are masculine, and consequently, there is debate going on as to whether or not couples should operate in traditional gender roles established by boomers. See, Gen X women that are modern city girls, they want a traditional man that will fulfill the traditional male role, but they don't want to be a traditional woman. See, Gen X women that refuse to follow the guidance of their boomer mothers because they didn't want to be like them never grew up to full maturity. Are you married? Yes. If you're not going to, what does that, not, well, what do, does that if matter? You're not going to do when I, okay, I'll say this much. I choose not to be. There is a difference between being a real woman, an adult female, and a woman sized girl. Those women who are not real women yet are not marriage material and should not be married until they are mature enough to repent and be a wife. And I mean truly repent, not operating in conditional or soft girl femininity and hiding their masculine tendencies just to hook a man. Any woman that demands a traditional man should already be a traditional woman who has the maturity to fulfill a woman's traditional role. And brothers, every woman that is eligible to be married is not qualified to be a wife. So choose a woman that will fulfill her traditional role and who is leadable and teachable. And this is very important for men who want to build generational wealth for their family. See, God designed certain things to work together in certain ways to achieve certain results. See, an apple seed needs dirt in, to, um, in order to grow into an apple tree, right? And men and women need each other to operate in their respective masculine and feminine energies to cause money to grow on their family tree. Go to drwillenterprises.com and sign up for my Money Does Grow on Trees masterclass so that you can learn how to use the same principles that Fortune 500 com companies have used for over a century to produce exponential wealth for their family of companies. Now, I'm from the Black Boomer generation, so if you fail to sign up for that masterclass, don't ever say again that the Boomer generation failed you. Now, the question on the table is, did Black Boomer parents fail their children? And the answer is no. Black boomers have tried to provide the Gen X ch children with information, but they refuse to listen. The truth is Gen X children failed their parents, failed their culture, and failed their communities, and failed to do their part to force the country to be true to its creed. Boomer parents did the best they could to, re to raise recalcitrant children, and now Gen X parents have to do the best that they can to get their sons to pull up their pants like real men and to lead their daughters to stop putting piercings in their face and wearing neon colored hair. Well, that's all that I have for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your family and friends, and I'll be back with something new that nobody told you. Until then, remember that God loves you, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'll see you next time on Zero to Millions and Dr. Will Enterprises.